Hey guys, welcome to a new video of Ramadan, episode 1 to 30. This is currently episode number 25. Be sure to like and subscribe. Please tell me in the comments how to make merch, because I was planning on actually making merch. So you know how like my profile pic ha has me like with a cowboy hat like this? I was thinking like a white shirt with a nice brown cowboy hat, and under that it says, I am K Floridian. So I was thinking of like making some merch. So let me know how to do that in the comments. And once again, welcome to episode number 25. Today's topic is the life of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. We've talked a lot about him in other episodes, but this episode is based mainly on him. So there's an ayat in the Quran about Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, which goes as in translation, there has certainly come to you a messenger from among yourselves. So that means, I think, as in like, among, huma among humanity. Grievous to him is what you suffer. He is concerned over you. And to the believers is kind and merciful. So he is kind and merciful to the believers. And he wants to try and get you to go in heaven and follow the right path. I understand that. The name of the surah is al Toba. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was born in the year of elephants in Mecca. Uh, now, if you guys are wondering what the year of elephants were, it's basically, um, so an army of men and elephants came to destroy the Kaaba, which is the house of Allah. Uh, but Allah will protect that house under all costs, and he destroyed them instead. If you want to know about the details of the incident, like who sent the army and why they did that, then uh, let me know in the comments. I can make a video on that in full detail. So Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, his father died before he was born, and that's so sad. His father's name was Abdullah. Prophet, Muhammad's, uh, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him's mother, whose name is Amina, passed away when he was just six years old just six both of his parents it's so sad so at six years old he became an orphan i might cry this is this disturbs me great greatly imagine how difficult his life would be without his parents now you must be thinking who's um who took care of prophet muhammad peace be upon him when both of his parents died Fortunately, his grandfather was there, until he passed away. His grandfather's name was Abdul Muttalib. Uh, so after um, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, his grandfather died, his uncle became his guardian, whose name is Abu Talib. And um, basically he fed and took care of Muhammad, peace be upon him, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, until he was 52 years old. He spent the most time with his uncle. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, uh, before he became an actual prophet, then he worked with uh, someone in her business whose name was Khadija, uh, Khadija Rosia Talanha. And uh, she became so impressed with his honesty and hard work and his character that uh, that she asked him to marry her and she became the first wife of prophet muhammad peace be upon him prophet muhammad peace be upon him was famous by the name al amin which means trustworthy now the people of mecca were worshiping idols made out of stone of course prophet muhammad peace be upon him hated this like anything and he went to the cave of hira which is what it's called, and it's still actually there today. You can actually go to Mecca or to the Kaaba and actually walk around that place, and you can actually find, see, and I'm pretty sure, possibly even go inside the cave if you're allowed to. So he went there to worship, pray uh, to God. Then one day, Angel Jibrail, who we talked about in a previous episode, came down and brought him an ayat from Quran. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, has been chosen to be a prophet to spread the religion of Islam. So, um, Prophet Muhammad was in Mecca for 13 years, and during that time, 
He was calling people to worship Allah alone while he was there, first secretly and then openly. Now, the Makkans did not like this. The Makkans are the people who lived in Makkah and were the non-believers and the believers. The, the non-believers, the Makkans, did not like this and they harmed Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and, and the new believers. Now, God decided to help Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and sent some people from Medina, which is a completely different city from Mecca, to help Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, spread the religion. He taught, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, taught the group of people about Islam during the time of Hajj, which is the time to go to the Kaaba, obviously. And um, they, the group went back to Medina, along with Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and they spread the religion in Medina. Quickly, all the people in Medina turned into believers just like this. So, the people of Medina, uh, they started to love Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and they invited him to stay in Medina with them to protect him from his enemies and all the people that wanted to kill him. This is why the people of, the, of Medina are called Ansars. Ansars means helpers. The believers of Mecca left Mecca to go to the Medina and left their belongings and uh, all that kind of stuff behind just for the sake of Islam. These people are called Muhajirun, which means moving from one place to another. You know, the names in Islam make so much sense. They were moving from Mecca to Medina and the name is like moving from one place to another. They make so much sense. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, went from Mecca to Medina with his best companion, Abu Bakr, uh, to, uh, to Medina. And the people who were the believers in Medina were very happy to see that he made it safely. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and the believers fought uh, the McCanns and came out victorious. The battle was called the Battle of Badr. Uh, the McCanns were not done yet, and they came back to uh, they came back once again to try and harm Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. They did harm Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him really bad, but they didn't kill him. They just harmed him really bad. This battle was called the Battle of Uhud. Sadly, many believers died in this battle. But he did defeat the more evil army, so they died as his heroes. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, fought very bravely, and everybody loved him immensely. He fought many other battles, but always came out on top. If anybody tried to harm Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, uh, the, the, uh, uh, the believers tried to protect him in any way possible. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, went back to his hometown, Mecca, and he didn't kill or slaughter anyone who ever did anything bad or harmed him. He forgave them, destroyed all idols around the Kaaba, went back to Medina to live the rest of his life in peace. Now, after this, uh, the, mission, uh, the revelation of the Quran was complete. God, the mission that God had given to all the prophets was complete, and Islam was taught to the people. Shortly after this, Prophet uh, Muhammad, peace be upon him, sadly fell ill. Now, the sickness during this month grew and grew, and Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, sadly passed away. Everybody was very, very, very sad. This may seem like an exaggeration, but this was the saddest day for all of humanity. Although Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, sadly passed away, the Quran had been revealed. So the Quran was uh, reached, it reached humanity by him, and uh, it, the Quran still stays with us today. So, uh, and, it, and it will stay with us until the day of judgment it will stay in its original form nothing will change 
His actions called sunnahs also stay with us so that we can take guidance from him. This is why God has said that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the best example to humanity. And also, and also his speeches, which are called hadith, are also there for us. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is laid to rest in Masjid Nabwi. And people go and visit and offer prayers in Masjid uh, Nabwi. Now, I was going to talk about all the things I love about Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Uh, but the episode after this one is going to talk about that. And then my good deed. Spend a day without complaining. Easy peasy. Not fasting today. Uh, I'll, if you, I'm not sure if I told you to get this, but I've been like doing this transition. So one day I'll be fasting, one day I won't. So fasting, not fasting, fasting, not fasting. So I'll be doing that uh, for the uh, last few days of um, Ramadan. Be sure to like and subscribe. And see you in the next video. Nah, nah, nah.